you have to ditch your limited academic mindset if you want to be successful uh, in your career in industry. Uh, this is hard to do, I understand it. My last year of graduate school, I didn't think I could get an industry job. I had a little bit of imposter syndrome, uh, a little bit of, I guess, stagnancy. It wasn't really laziness. I don't think I was lazy, but I didn't know how to do anything outside of academia. And it just seemed exhausting. My brain didn't have any reference points. And so it would de-energize me anytime I thought about getting a job outside of industry. I didn't know where to start. It took me a long time to figure out that the best, best place to start is why. Why does a company hire? Now you're gonna get asked this question when you sit down to an interview with any employer and asking this question before uh, you get an interview will actually help expose where the job opportunities are. Some of the reasons why companies hire is because they're restructuring a department. They're introducing a new product line. Um, of course, somebody could be leaving, but that's much uh, more rare than you might think. Usually it's something bigger. They could have merged with another company or acquired another company's products. Mergers and acquisitions happen on a daily basis for small, medium, and large companies. It's not just the largest mergers uh, that you hear about in the news that are happening, right? Like Bristol Myers Squibb uh, acquiring Celgene. Everybody knows about those, but even small companies, they might acquire another company's cell line. Uh, this happened to a company that I worked with. And so understanding these high level management activities will help you start thinking like a, a business professional and help you start seeing the strings, seeing the strategy behind why uh, positions open up. And it's also gonna help you start speaking the language of business so that you can go to an interview, talk like a business professional and get into a management level position, a senior position, not just an entry level position, like the position I first got into um, in industry, I thought I was lucky to get into an entry level position. Uh, the salary that I got in my very first job, my very first pay level, was the same as people with their bachelor's or master's. This was disappointing to say the least. Um, I had people with their bachelor's or master's uh, telling me what to do as well. And it wasn't until I put aside this limited academic mindset and I had the wisdom to realize that I had a PhD, that I could be successful in industry as a manager, I could get directly into a senior position or a principal position, that things changed. My next position, I made $100,000 a year simply because I studied why the company was hiring. So they actually acquired another company's uh, medical device and they needed people to support this medical device. And because I understood that and I was able to talk about it and tell them all the reasons why I could help them hit the ground running in this new division of the company, I got hired into it. And I had people reporting to me. I was given a, a very uh, large responsibility set compared to my initial job. And it all, became, it, it all happened because I, I ditched that limited academic mindset. So if you have a PhD, you can do this. You can get hired in industry. You just have to learn to speak the language of business. You have to learn to see the strings, right? I always think of the Wizard of Oz, right? I thought that industry was this magical, elusive, difficult to understand world. Um, and that there were really smart people, really intelligent people with so, so much experience over me that myself is just a, a limited lifetime academic PhD. I could never understand it. But after pulling back the curtain, I saw that most people had no idea what they were doing. And I was smarter than most of them. And I say that respectfully, but it's true because I had a PhD, I knew how to innovate, I knew how to process information quickly, I knew how to gather data, collect data and information, I knew how to see trends and analyze that data and information. Most people can't do that. McKinsey and Company just reported that there's a 20% deficit in the job market for people who can analyze data, collect data. You can do that as a PhD, you're very valuable. Just add on this last skill set you need, being able to speak the language of business. I hope that you'll join us for our Scientist MBA webinar that's going to teach you to speak the language of business, which is Thursday, that's tomorrow, uh, October 17th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you show up for that. No matter what you do, though, know your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.